No, 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 don't worry. Uh, check your brief mark. Good morning. Um, I wanted to come in May to the transition deal uh, and the issue around sincere cooperation in trade deals because there's an exemption to allow trade deals in spite of sincere cooperation. And I wonder if you could explain how that will work, what the opportunities will be, and what the limitations may be, particularly in relation to our activities on international bodies. Well, the, the, this was, in essence, the, the biggest single ask uh, on the British side uh, in uh, starting down the route for the implementation period, transition period, you choose your phrase. Um, and the reason for that was that we were uh, denied the right to do that by being a part of the common commercial policy and also uh, by a duty of sincere cooperation. We couldn't even start down the route properly under the duty of sincere cooperation. What this does explicitly is allow us to sign, to negotiate and sign such deals, but not enter into force. Yeah, that seemed to me to be reasonable because if you, if you opened up a free trade deal, let's say we had zero tariffs with some uh, other trade partner, they could export uh, products to here, and then in theory people could export them on without, uh, without hindrance to the European Union, so it would create a great loophole in their external tariff. So uh, that was, the, that was the, uh, in effect, the, the offer we made. Um, and it was a set, it's essentially been accepted. The advantage of it, I, I, I spoke earlier um, uh, about the huge size of the trade growth in the rest of the world. The, 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 sort of, the story of the last 30 years has been the spectacular growth in world trade, a fantastic effect in, in, the, in the chairman's old stamping ground on, on world poverty, um, and also huge opportunities for a country like ours with our world network, our English language, and all the various other competitive advantages we have. So that's what it's aimed to do. And the aim is explicit. It's to be able to get off to a racing start once we are formally concluded the whole process, including implementation period, of having trade ar arrangements in place. And we saw Justin Trudeau just last week saying he wants to be first in the queue. And will the government be able to act independently in relation to the prospect of trade deals in international bodies such as the WTO, or will we be bound by sincere cooperation in such organisations? Well, we're, we're in the middle of discussion with the Union over the ongoing uh, uh, the ongoing trade uh, arrangements, which they have negotiated previously and how we fit within those. Um, but other than that, I see no reason why we should be restrained. And is it your hope and expectation that the first trade deals, having been signed in the implementation or transition period, will come into force the day after we have left? Uh, yeah, well, that's my hope. That's your hope. I, don't, I, I can't tell you at the moment whether it's an expectation because we're not really far enough down the road. And there's one concern with the two proposals for customs with the European Union, that neither of them is likely to be ready for day one after we've left. Neither of which, sorry, I missed of, the first Of the um, maximum facilitation and the um, special customs partnership. Is there a risk that the government may be saying we need to stay in the customs union for an interim period, which would obviously hamper our ability to uh, implement any trade deals that we signed. No, I mean, the, 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 the problem here, I mean, at, at the end of the day, you, you have the option of varying the, uh, effectively, the sampling rate when you, are, when you are checking things coming into the country. And bear in mind, our customs operation is checking things coming into our country. Um, uh, the, 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 the bigger risk from that point of view is the other way, is what the French customs authorities, the Dutch and others, and we're talking to them, uh, already to try, and, to try and facilitate that. But no, I do not expect the solution to that to be uh, extension of membership of the Customs Union. I view that, uh, on my part, as a failure. Thank you, Secretary of State.